And doing money, you have to be really, really, really detailed with it, you know? You could say money has always been a central part of artist Arthur Williams' life. You want to see a sheet of money? There's a sheet of money. But not in so the way you might geez. think. It was a fun time, actually. I, I got to say it, and I love printing money, you know? Yes, Williams was a counterfeiter, at one time considered the best in the world for mastering the 1996 said, supposedly impossible to replicate hundred dollar bill. So I went on a, on a journey to, to not only defeat the pen, but to defeat everything. I defeated the strip, I defeated the watermark, I just defeated the, the UV, I defeated the shifting ink, I mean everything. But that mastery landed him in federal prison. That's where he went from a life of crime to a life of oils and canvas. You own your past, don't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's made who I am. You know, I wouldn't change a thing, you know. It, I really do believe that the struggles are what makes us beautiful. Williams was just 11 when his father left the family and struggling, they wound up living in this Bridgeport housing project. Williams first stole quarters from parking meters to buy his family food. Then he ended up in jail for stealing a car. His mother's friend bailed him out. He brought me into his world and his world was printing, printing money, you know, for all the the mobs. William says he printed millions in fake bills, first buying things for he and his then wife, then. I was like, why don't we just start buying kids stuff and then we'll just drop it off at the Salvation Army, Char Salvation Army Charity, wherever we're at. And, and we did that for a long time. Until 2006, when he got caught, he picked up his first brush in prison. When I would paint, I would feel again, if that makes sense, right? Like I would feel like a human because Prison really is designed to make you feel like an animal. Released in 2013, life on the outside was tough. William scrubbed toilets. In a matter of months, he lost his job, car, and his house burned down. But a painting of his deceased brother survived. And it was sitting there, and it just told me, like, this is what I needed to do. I needed to keep going. Two acquaintances eventually paid him to paint, taking a cut if the painting sold. Four did at a Miami art show a year ago. To date, his paintings have brought in almost a half a million dollars. He gives 10% to kids' charities. He's rubbed elbows with celebrities, and he's opened this gallery blocks from where he grew up. Everybody said, go to Gold Coast, go to River North, go here. And I said, no, you know what, no, I'm going to stay right here in this neighborhood. This is where I belong.